Hi everyone, I'm Sarah and this is Budget Sew, where we create stylish, fashionable looks as inexpensively as possible. Today, I'm going to show you my Amazon sewing and crafting haul. Just a quick note before we get started, today I'm wearing the top of McCall's 6355 and the skirt of Quick Sew 3195. The link to the video with those makes is right here at the top of the screen. The first item is the Tibetan panel coat sewing pattern from Folkwear Patterns. The traditional Tibetan panel coat is constructed of simple contrasting panels of hand woven wool. Rectangular solid color panels alternate with horizontal striped wedge shaped panels creating an overlap front opening. It's worn belted or open with a neckband that extends to the hem. Facings are turned to the inside along the front opening, hem, side bends and armholes. An additional decorative facing is turned to the outside underarm and shoulder area. Instructions for simple optional lining are provided. The lining eliminates the need to finish the seams. Its simple rectangular components make it perfect for pieced or hand woven fabrics or exciting combinations of color and texture. The pattern includes instructions for traditional stamp design and bound edge, as well as notes for hand weavers. The suggested fabrics are assorted combinations of prints and solids in similar weights. Lightweight to medium weight cotton, blends, corduroy, wool, decorative fabrics such as brocade, velvet, embroidered heirlooms, and hand woven wool. This sewing pattern had mostly five star reviews on the Folkwear Pattern website. One person that left a review said that fabric choice was very important. The reviewer made hers with silks and brocades and wound up with a very dramatic garment. She said the next one she makes will be made up with more casual fabrics. She also suggested arranging the cutout pattern pieces in assembly line order on the floor to make sure that they are sewn together in the right order. Such great tips and a gorgeous result that I just had to give this pattern a try. I'm leaning towards making it out of navy blue brocades. The next item is this cross stitch kit called Three Dogs Five by Captain Crafts Cross Stitch. This kit comes with the puppy picture already pre-printed on the fabric and has enough colorful thread to cross stitch the entire picture. The kit also comes with two embroidery needles and full instructions. I like that this is a complete kit so I can get started on the needlework with no planning required. This is the second cross stitch kit that I have. My first kit was the seven color fox and I also got it from Amazon but the puppy picture is quite a bit larger at 50 by 60 inches. The pre-printed image on the fabric will disappear once the fabric is rinsed in warm water for 20 minutes. And I'll open up the kit so you can see what it looks like inside. So we've got all the thread and the two needles. And then we have the picture pre-printed here. And then the instructions. They're so cute. Next, there's 10 Quick Knit Beanies and Slouchy Hats by Diane Service. Stay on point with these 10 stylish knit hats. 
Nothing keeps you warm and cozy like a hand knitted hat. And with the 10 designs in this book, you'll have one for every look. Beanies are toasty for hiking and slouchies look great for shopping or walking. Try new colors or yarn or stick with your favorites. You can create a whole selection of hats to upgrade every outfit. Each pattern includes full written instructions, charts when needed, and photo illustrations of any new stitches, making these patterns all quick and easy to knit. I really like the urchin hat. The mushrooming volume of this deep slouch hat is created by building columns into wedges. These wedges are then strategically decreased every other round to create a crown of radical symmetry. The thick pleated stockinette ribbing is ideal for yarn with a slight fuzz or halo. I also love this Spanish moss hat. Love the look of knitted cables, but not quite ready for something so fiddly. The mock cable pattern is just the thing. Basic lacework creates a serpentine cabled effect with ease. Another great hat is called Bubblegum. With a relaxing stitch pattern, this attractive hat knits up in no time. Use a chunky yarn with great stitch definition. The very best thing about this hat is that it is fully reversible. I've got my knitting bag ready to go. I've got my yarn, my needles, and I've been practicing. The hats in this book give me the drive to learn new techniques and stitching for knitting. Next I have some beautiful trims. The first is a three pack of silver ribbon. Each roll is 25 yards or 22 meters long and there are three widths. Six millimeters, 10 millimeters, and 20 millimeters. This ribbon added that extra sparkle to my fabric Christmas gift bags. I also bought three different kinds of gold trim. It all reminded me of the gold trim on my angel costume that my mom made for me as a child. This is a first ribbon. It's very pretty. It's got some sequins on it. This is a second gold one. It's a little bit smaller. And this is the third one. It's really quite beautiful. Then there's this leather moccasin kit. I've always wanted to make my own moccasins and this kit on Amazon was a great price. It includes pre-cut, pre-punched leather, cushioned insoles, laces, and step-by-step -step assembly instructions. The moccasin leather is made from durable golden tan deer tan cowhide, which will conform to the shape of your feet with wear. I went with one shoe size up with this kit so that the moccasins will be extra comfy. I thought that I would trace the shapes of the leather pieces onto my cardboard so that if I wanted to make a pair in future, I could just buy my own leather and use this as a template. I like that the Amazon seller recommended customizing your moccasins for your own unique design or leave them plain for a more traditional look. Some suggestions were to add flowers and a colored lace, or beads could be sewn when lacing up the moccasin. Painting the leather is another great way to add detail. Then there's this DIY latch hook kit. It makes a pillow 16 by 16 inches or 40 by 40 centimeters, and the design is of a puppy sleeping in a bookcase. The canvas is color coded, so it's easy to start and it ensures that you can put it down and pick it up again. The kit includes a pre-printed and binded canvas with the base cloth, acrylic yarn, the hook tool, 
and a paper pattern and instructions. I've never done rug hooking and I'm excited to get started on this one. So I'll open it up. Comes in a nice plastic case. We've got the tool here. And then we've got all different colors of yarn. It's just black on top here. Some red, maroon, greens, blues, all sorts of colors. So you can put your pillow in here and it has a zipper to zip up. And then the pattern is pre-printed here. And it also comes with the instructions. The next book was Knit Like a Norwegian, 30 stunning patterns from Scandinavia's top designers. Half a dozen of the most popular Norwegian needlecraft designers, from experienced veterans to up and coming superstars, were chosen to contribute brand new exclusive patterns to this unique collection. Their boundless innovative spirit and deep respect for the handcrafting history of Norway combine for a knitting experience that's undeniably quintessentially Norwegian. Hats, mittens, cowls, pullovers, jackets, socks, dresses, and more bring together the best of both worlds time-honored Norwegian knitting tradition, and stunning modern shaping and design. I bought this book for the Kian pullover, cowl, and hat that are on the front cover. The Kian pullover is a long A-line sweater that is named for the Irish god who ruled over the magic of love. Three mass stitch cables framed by moss stitch decorate the center of the body. The ribbing at the lower edge has a split hem. Kian is crowned with an I-cord around the neckline. The Kian Alpine hat is designed to be worn at a jaunty angle. A moss stitch cable embellishes the brim of this Alpine hat, which is a lovely accessory to match the sweater of the same name. The ribbing holds up the crown knitted in stockinette at the top. The Kian cowl is the perfect complementary touch to accompany the sweater and hat of the same name. Like a turtleneck collar, the cowl sits on top of the sweater as if part of a single piece, but it can be easily removed if desired. The cowl is knitted with two moss, moss stitch cables framed by reverse stockinette. The Maya cabled pullover is gorgeous. The combination of several types of cables and reverse stockinette give this sweater a light look. The loose fit pullover is finished with a high simple cable neck band. The next thing is a package of six hair bands. I bought them for some hair band sewing and crafting projects like Blossom Dreams from Berta Style Magazine. This is a free project on their website. Blossom Dreams is an Alice band or hair band with enchanting roses. It's feminine and modern at the same time. Be it at a wedding, garden party, or simply with a t-shirt and jeans, this project is a hair ornament in the truest sense of the word. Add a sprinkle of crystals for a royal tiara look. I'll post the link to the Blossom Dreams project in the description box of this video. Then I have this round knitting loom kit. It includes four different sizes of knitting looms. They are five, seven, nine, and 11 inches in diameter. One hook, one yarn needle, and four different sizes of pom-pom makers. The looms are made from lightweight and durable plastic and all the edges are smooth and the pegs are solid. The instructions show that it's easy to use and very convenient to make scarves, hats, socks, shawls, gloves, and much more. This kit reminds me of spool knitting, just on a larger scale. And I'll open it up for you. 
So it comes in a little bag on the inside. We have the different size pom-pom makers. There's three of them. This is a fourth one, the largest pom-pom. There's our needle and hook. And then we've got the looms, so from largest to smallest. And then I've also got the instructions right here. Next I have a package of three embroidery kits. I thought that these were so pretty. Each kit contains the pre-printed pattern on the fabric. Embroidery hoops, colored embroidery floss, embroidery needles, and instructions that show you what colors to use where, as well as which stitch to use. There's also a handy needle threader and thread snips. The pattern can be washed off the fabric, so be careful not to get it wet before completing it. I like that these kits come with everything so I don't have to pick flosses and patterns. It's ready to go, no thinking or planning required. I also like that in this kit, the girl's hair is braided and tied with a bow, giving it a three-dimensional effect. And I'll open up the kit now. So inside are the three kits. Our needle threader and our thread snips. And I'll open up one of the, the individual kits as well. So each kit comes with a hoop and in these pretty little envelopes of butterflies. And inside are all the threads, all the floss, the pattern pre-printed, as well as three needles, and the instructions. I like embroidery kits so much that I bought a package of three pendant embroidery kits. The package includes a plastic embroidery hoop, three different colored fabrics with patterns pre-printed, three sets of needles and threads, three jewelry chains, three metal plates, three pendant trays, a hot glue gun stick, and the instructions. I thought it would be fun to have new accessories to go with all the new garments that I'm sewing. And I'll open it up here. So you've got the hot glue gun stick in the embroidery hoop. And then I'll open up each, well, one of the kits. Whoops. We've got our thread, our design pre-printed, the pieces for the pendant and the two needles, as well as the instructions. The final item is knitted socks from Finland, 20 Nordic designs for all year round by Nina Leitonen. 20 beautiful design sock patterns for experienced knitters themed on the four seasons. This book is gorgeous. Nina is one of the most popular knitting designers in Finland. Already with several books under her belt, her latest featuring stunning sock designs inspired by the four seasons. They feature elements of nature in the shape of leaf patterns and beautiful lace and cable textures to gorgeous color work featuring a geisha, a butterfly, and heart patterns. 
They are knitted with the changing moods of the seasons in mind and include ankle length and knee length designs depending on the season. All the patterns have detailed charts to follow and the socks range in difficulty from fairly easy to more complex patterns. Suitable for competent and experienced knitters, these stylish socks will make the perfect gift. I like the flirtation socks. The designer said, dark eyes, brown hair, flirting and storytelling, red cheeks and a tender smile. These socks are for people who always are relaxing company. A beautiful cable design symbolizes fate causing two people's paths to cross. I also like Snow Queen. The description said, this design is for all the heroines in my life. My dear friends who make every day a celebration. For people who are there when you need them, whose words you can trust, and who understand you even when you don't understand yourself. These socks embody love and trust, pride in what you have and who you are. Another great design is Frozen Seas. Slightly glacial, cool and icy, but still lovely, they invoke the feeling of winter. A cable design runs down the back of these lace socks, continuing all the way to the heel. The design is a joy to knit and the socks simply appear like that first morning frost. I hope you enjoyed my Amazon sewing and crafting haul. Please like and share this video with your friends and family. I love sharing my new, vintage, and out of print sewing patterns and my tips, tricks, quick fixes, and even my mistakes when sewing along with you. I also love sharing my wonderful fabric finds that I thrifted from charity shops, as well as brand new fabric online and in store. If you'd like to see more from Budget Sew, please subscribe and press the bell to receive a notification when I release a new video. If you'd like to stay up to date with Budget Sew, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Budget Sew. Thanks for watching. See you next time.